Hello and welcome to hopefully first of many short videos I want to upload here on the channel. And I started this series because I wanted to get more connected with the audience and kind of share some of the experiences that my dad and I have producing the content that you guys see every Wednesday. So today I want to start off with my dad and I's trip to the Cincinnati Zoo this past weekend. Him and I had an absolute blast, so I wanted to thank Angela and the rest of the Cincinnati Zoo staff for that day because we just had an awesome time. And now, if I can actually pronounce Guam, unlike I've been able to for the last three takes, we started off with Cody at the birdhouse doing a video on the Guam Rail. I thought it was super interesting to do the Guam Rail since my dad, my grandpa, a bunch of other family and family of friends have been to Guam while they're in the military and have been stationed there and they know the story with the Guam rail and the Malaysian kingfisher and the brown tree snake and I thought that was super interesting and connected with a lot of the audience that I know and see in person and I just thought it would be really interesting to do. Next Cody took us to the keen penguin enclosure and we were allowed inside which was super cool and super loud and I have a picture of that here. Um, that was just an awesome experience. It was super loud in there with a bunch of the penguins just making all sorts of noises and the king penguins lining up for the little parade. And then after the video, Cody actually took us behind the scenes to look at some of the uh, fairy blue penguins and a couple of the chicks they have in a little hatchery. And it was just a cool experience to see um, a fairy blue penguin in the process of hatching. We didn't get to see it fully hatch because it's a very long process. And actually at the time of filming, uh, it hatched today, which is super cool. Um, according to like their Instagram, if you want to check that out. Um, but my dad and I got to hold it, as shown here, and it was just an awesome experience. And next up was Mike. He w is the head of the mammal department at the Cincinnati Zoo, and I could tell from the moment I started talking to him that he was just super knowledgeable about all of the animals he had. Especially the aardvarks, which he's been working with for 37 years. Which is insane to me, because typically people transfer and they move. And he's been at the Cincinnati Zoo his entire career, since he was 13. And he's been working with the aardvarks for the longest time. And he's super knowledgeable, and I thought that was super cool. So we were allowed to go inside of the aardvark enclosure with Mike. And the female, uh, as I took a picture of here, was super awesome. And what was even cooler is, while we are doing the video, bunch of Indian fruit bats are flying around checking us out. The two bush babies that were in there were jumping around checking us out. And I thought it was super cool since the bats are staying up high, the bush babies stay up high, and the aardvarks are on the ground. So they're able to make a multi-species enclosure like that work out. Next we went up to the education building to meet with Carrie Ann to talk about the Screaming Harry Armadillo, which I want to add is one of the coolest animal names ever. We had the choice between a three-banded armadillo and a screaming hairy armadillo, and the answer is obvious. Not to say that a three-banded armadillo isn't cool, but it doesn't have screaming in its name, so it's kind of the loser there. But it was one of the cutest armadillos I've ever seen, and I definitely love to learn about it. Next was one of my favorite animals of the day, which is the Red River Hog, which we talked with Andy about, and the hog's name was Sir Francis Bacon which I don't really get the reference, but my dad did and he really enjoyed the name. And what I thought was really cool is that these animals are so intelligent that they're able to train them to do like spins, little hops, and even in, be involved in the cheetah show. And I just thought it was super cool how these animals are just really smart like that and able to be trained for their shows. And finally, I just wanted to thank Angela and the rest of the Cincinnati Zoo staff for setting this all up and allowing me to make these videos possible. My dad and I had a great day, and um, after we finished the videos, we walked around the zoo. But most of the animals were out because it was like 20 degrees when we were there. But despite that, we still had an awesome day. We had an awesome time. We learned so much. And the first thing I did when I walked out of the zoo is I was calling my mom and telling her about what an awesome day I had. So again, thanks to all the staff at the Cincinnati Zoo. Thank you guys for watching the video, and tune in next week.